Hey Simon, it's Brody here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to give you a quick virtual tour on this lovely Mazda uh, CX-5 that we've got available at the moment. Now, just before I do that, a little bit about us here in Cairns. So we are Pacific Toyota here. We do have two used vehicle yards. This one where I'm standing at 77 Mulgrave Road. The other one about two kilometers down our main road here at 235 Mulgrave Road. Just up the stairs, there's our showroom. And as you can see, we do have Toyota Finance available on all of our pre-owned vehicles. So if you are looking at getting any finance options at all, please let me know um, as I'm happy to organize a quote through them. Um, also, being a genuine Toyota dealership, we also have Toyota brand new vehicles and Lexus of Cairns available as well. Uh, now, I'll just jump straight into the virtual tour. I did want to let you know, so a roadworthy certificate has already been done on this car. So our Toyota technicians have checked it over, made sure everything's right and that it's all ready to go for next uh, point of sale. So coming through here, all nice and tidy underneath the engine bay and just underneath the bonnet's all nice and clean as well. All right, coming through the bonnet itself now, there's a couple of tiny little stone chips. Um, the rest of it's all pretty clean. Again, another couple of small little stone chips just on the bonnet there. Um, now anything like that, we can have brush touched as well. Obviously it won't come up perfect, but they just basically try and blend the paint in as much as they can. So those little stone chips there are really hard to see. But as you can see, the paint's in really good condition. No fading or anything like that, and no dents or anything either. So coming down the front right hand guard, that's all nice and clean through there. Through the wheel here, obviously I do apologize, it's a little bit wet. I did just um, give the car a quick hose and show me. There's a very light little scratch on the outside of that wheel there. And obviously it looks like a brand new tire on there, full set of tread. Really, really clean under the underbody as well. Coming through the front bar now, obviously the CX-5 has a, have a lovely front grille. It's all nice and clean through there as far as I can see from here. A couple of very, uh, it's just a bit of a spider web. Sorry, I thought it was a scratch, but no, otherwise really clean through there. Like I said, just a very tiny little stone chip just on that front bar there. Coming down the front left-hand side, that guard's all really clean. Beautiful color in this blue. Obviously just has a little bit of a sparkle to the paint as well. Heaps of tread on the front left again. And no gutter ash or anything on that right-hand tire. And as much as I can show you, the underbody there, really, really clean. Now, every car that we sell comes with a clear history report that just says it's never been written off, never been stolen, and doesn't owe anyone any money. As you can see, windscreen's really, really clear. 28,990 is what we've got advertised on the vehicle. Again, really clean through the roof, as you can see there. Nothing I can really point out to you. All nice and tidy through there. All right, coming through the rear bar now. All nice and clean through the windscreen. Obviously, you got your CX-5 badging down there. And your rear, uh, just point that out. There's a couple of tiny little stone chips there. Again, like I said, I can have those brush touched as well does have rear parking sensors on the back there, so if you are reversing and do get too close to anything, they'll start beeping at you as well. So obviously that rear bar is really clean too. Going into the rear, rear wheel there, tires, heaps of tread again, looks like a near new tire. And no gutter ash or anything like that on that final uh, third wheel there. Very, very minor little scuff just there below the fuel cap. Otherwise really clean through there. I'll come up through the top and then I'll go back through your doors for you. But as you can see, no dents or anything through there. All the panels line up very nicely. There's a very light little scuff just on that bottom of that front left door that I wanted to point out there. But otherwise, really, really clean. Same as the rear door, nice and tidy. Very, very light little scratch. Uh, it was just a bit of hair, sorry, came off with my finger. Otherwise, really clean down the left-hand side. I'll work my way down the right-hand side, and then I'll, I'll go in more in depth into the interior, but I'll just pop open and show you in the back here. Now, those seats fold forward there. I'll fold them up so I can show you the condition of the seats in a second, but as you can see, it gives you heaps of space if you do need it. And obviously, just that space over spare tire underneath, and just this parcel cover that'll cover anything in the back here as well. Closing that up now. Work my way down the right hand side and then jump into the interior for you. All nice and clean through the fourth and final wheel there. Heaps of tread left and no gutter ash or anything on that final wheel. Coming down the right hand side. Again, I'll go through the top for you and then I'll go back through the doors. As you can see, it's extremely clean. All right, through the driver's door, nothing I can really point out there as well as the passenger rear door. 
very tiny little stone chips just on the inside of that door there. All right, I'll set these seats up so we can have a good look through here. All right, the rear seats are in really good nick. No tears, rips, anything like that to the fabric. Obviously it does have your isofix points, so if you are gonna fit car seats in the back here, you can easily do so. They'll just clip in for you. Otherwise really clean through there. Same as the carpet on the floor, just needs a quick vacuum, but no rips or tears or anything like I said. Jumping in the front now for you. Driver's door card, really, really clean. Obviously get your uh, window and mirror controls through there. Through the driver's floor card, nice and tidy. Again, just needs a quick vacuum. Same as the passenger side, nice and clean. All right, driver's door, uh, driver's seat here. As you can see, nice and clean, no rips, tears, anything like that. Same as the passenger seat as well. All nice and tidy up through there. And that passenger door card, so I'll try and get rid of this glare, but you can see it's all nice and clean over there. I'll quickly start the car up. Obviously push button start. I've got the keys in my pocket, so I'll grab that out for you now. And we'll go through a few of the features here. So obviously just as your one key, it does have a little case on it. So obviously your central locking, you just unlock and lock the car like that. Obviously you just gotta unlock it so it doesn't um, lock automatically lock. Push button start, so you just push that button there. You hear this car start up nice and easy. Go through some of the features in here, but as you can see, really clean, nice updated dash, no engine warning lights, anything like that on there. All nice and tidy. So coming through here, obviously you got your steering wheel, cruise control and audio buttons through there. Down here, you've got that I stop button, your traction control and your TCS button. Obviously, like I said, your mirror and window controls down on the right hand side. It does have a heads up display. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but uh, it makes it look like it's flashing, but it's actually not on the camera there. So it does tell you speed up on the windscreen there. All nice and tidy through here. Really clean. Again, I do apologize. My camera's playing a bit of tricks on us. It's not actually um, have that black line over there. It's just because the sun's reflecting off the camera. But as you can see through there, all nice and tidy. Nice big head screen. All nice and tidy through the dash there as well. As well as your air conditioning. You've got your fan speed, temperatures and modes through there. Um, obviously icy cold aircon as well, all been reconditioned. As you can see, you'll have your reverse camera up on the dash here. Again, that black line's not actually there. It's just the uh, reflection from my phone, but nice clear um, reverse camera, automatic park brake. So you turn that one there, press it down, turns it off. Pull it up to you, turns it back on. Really, really clean on the inside here. Most used cars, you'll see some scratching and stuff around these, but they're really, really clean as well. So got all your head unit and audio buttons through here, just a little dial, as well as your volume there. Obviously, all your speakers work and everything like that. They've been double checked by our technicians here. All nice and clean throughout here. Another little center console spot with a couple of USB points in there. Last thing I'll go through is just your service history. Obviously on a pre-owned vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to know how the vehicle has been maintained. Now, as you can see, it's only done 54,710 kilometers. Obviously, bugger all for this age vehicle, but I wanted to just point out how well it has been serviced. So as you can see there, first service there done 11,000, second at 21, third at 31, fourth at 41, and then again, we've just serviced the car. So Pacific Inn is our reconditioning center. So 54,000 kilometers. So a full service history. As you can see, someone's walking around behind me so you can hear those parking sensors beeping there while I've still got it in reverse. Check it back in park now. Um, so obviously full service history has just had a service. So you know it's gonna be mechanically sound. 64,000 kilometers is when the next service is due. So another 10,000 kilometers worth of driving without needing another service. Now, I'll jump out and give you one last look at the outside of the vehicle, but I hope you, hope you have enjoyed the virtual tour. A really lovely Mazda CX-5. Um, obviously, thanks again for watching. If you do have any questions about the dealership or the vehicle in particular, let me know. Um, but again, great looking car. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to hear what you think. Cheers.